Okay, so the example I'm going to give you, you could probably look up on 101,000 blogs about generics because really the place where generics come in most frequently is in data structures. And I'm just going to punt and do the same example that everybody does with generics, um, which is a, a, a basic data structure. So I'm going to make a class. I'm going to call it list. And basically a list, I want the list to hold... It's like an array that grows. You know when we make an array here, like say I said int array, and so I say new, int array, and I pass 50 there. Well, that's fine and dandy. I can store 50 ints, but if I get to 51 ints, well, now i got a problem because I'm going to go out of bounds and an array doesn't magically grow for me. So what we do in data structures is we, um, put, we wrap the implementation inside of a list and then just to kind of ignore the details and allow list to grow and shrink for us as needed. Well, let me show you a little bit how that goes. I'm going to make a list and this one will store ints and we'll say uh, int current index and I should say get zero but the default is zero so I'm going to rely on the default because I consider a professional programmer should probably know what the default values are for various types. So I'm going to say void add and it takes an int i and I'm going to say int sub current index plus plus gets i and um, we'll say void or not void int get int i um, actually, I'm not going to say I. I'm going to call this index. Be careful on the naming of my variables. So let's just return ints sub index. And if they give us an index that's out of bounds, array will do us a favor and blow up for us. So we don't really, I'm not going to do any extra error checking there. But we could have an issue here where um, if I add, let's say, 3, let's do, let's start out with 3. And that's a terrible magic number I have there. But we'll start with 3. I'm going to go down here, I'm going to say list, my ants gets new list, and I'm going to say my ants dot, ay, 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 I didn't make it public, so I say public, I've been doing too much C++ lately, where you specify accessibility a little differently, anyway, my ants dot add, I don't know, we'll do my age, 12, um, my ants, we'll do my son's age, 25, and uh, I don't know, we'll do my wife's age, uh, 92. Okay. So, oh boy, I hope she doesn't watch this video. Here we go. So I have three ints. I'm good to go. Now what happens if I uh, try to do my, um, I don't know, my coworker's age of five? Well, that's the fourth int, which is going to take us out of bounds here. Let's just, I'm going to control F5 this. Run this. You see, oh! Oops. I just exposed my desktop. <sighs> Stupid windows. Uh, how do I get back to that? Visual Studio, it's over here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we get this error. We get this error on handle exception. You went out of bounds. Thank you, C Sharp, for covering me because C would allow me to stomp all over myself. All right, that's good. Well, I don't want my list to blow up. All right, I, I, the idea is that this thing can grow and shrink. So the idea is that this thing should be able to grow with the ad. So it's real simple. We need to just add a little extra check here. I'm going to say if current index is equal to ints dot. The length, uh, that means we, we need to make a bigger array, so we need to grow here. I, I guess, you know what, I'm just going to say grow. Grow, thank you, Visual Studio, control dot, generate method stub for grow in list. Very good, semicolon. All right, this is roughly, and it is private, but the default's private, so I'm going to take private off, and maybe I'll group my public stuff with my public stuff, and, okay, grow. So, this is a basic rundown of a data structures class. you got to write a list that can grow. Well, let's grow this. I'm going to say int array temp gets new int array. And let's just double its size every time. So I'm going to say int, so what's your current length? Let's just times that by 2. That's roughly what most built-in data structures do. And then uh, I'm going to say array. I believe there's a copy. Yep, array copy. The source array is going to be ints, and I want to write it out to my temp, my new, bigger, and better, improved array there. And then the length is going to be ints dot length. Okay, so copy all those over. And then when I'm done, I'm going to say ints gets temp. All right, ints, forget all the ints you know about. We're going to assign the new and improved longer array, and the old one will be up for uh, garbage collection. Okay, so now. I can add all day long, control F5, no error this time. I'm actually going to step through this code. F10, 
F10, F10, F11 into the ad. You can see, oh, current index, we don't need to grow. All right, good. F11 again, step in, oh, we don't need to grow. All right, step in again, oh, we don't need to grow because there's still room. Okay, but on this one, we're adding fourth item when we started with three. So I'm like, oh, current index, install length. So let's go grow, meaning make the new and improved one double the length. Copy all the data over, get the sign of the new one, and then we're good. Pop, pop. Well, just for tickles, four, tab, tab. I want to iterate over uh, my ints, oops, dot length. I didn't, I don't have a length property. Oh, and that's so, control, shift, u, control, u, 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 Let's generate a property. In fact, I wonder if I can control dot here. Get out of the auto-completion mode. Control dot, generate property stub. Thank you. But it's going to be just a get. And I'm going to return ints dot length. Alright, so now I can iterate over it and I can say a CW my ints dot get item I. Alright, good. So there's all the numbers we put in, all the ages 12, 25, 92, 55. Five. Okay, so before this video gets any longer, that was great and dandy, but what if I want to, what if I want to store instead of ints, I got to store, let's do one for string. So I'm going to copy and and really, if you filled this out, you'd have a lot more code in here if we did all the implementation for a complete data structure. But this is class list, and oh, you know what, let's say list of int, right? Because that one's list of int, and then what if I want to do list of string, and then we could do list of double, and list of float, and list of main class. And But in here, i got to say, uh, instead of int, i got to say string, and then everywhere I see int, I'm going to say string, and hopefully you're recognizing from the previous videos that uh, we could quickly turn this into a generic type, which is pretty par for why we have generics, even though it's not the only use for generics, it is definitely uh, the most common is with data structures, all right, so temp, 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 so I did, uh, get it all, does it build, yep, build succeeded, okay, so Let's not do what we're doing here, where we we're going to copy and paste this a hundred times. Let's let's make this. Oh, there's all my servers. Uh, let's make this a generic class. So instead of saying list int, I'm going to say list of t, and uh, and then everywhere I see int, that specifies the storage type. I'm going to say t. So t t. Now I need to keep current index. That is still an int, but. I'm, I'm going to add a T, and when I get I'm going to get a T. I'm going to get at a certain index, so that's okay. That should be an int. Uh, let's see, where else am I missing? Grow. This needs to be a T. And T. And I think we're good. Does it build? Oh, of course, it doesn't know what list of int is. Now it knows what a list of int is. All right, build it. Build succeeded. Run. And drag it out. Same result. That's nice. So now we can easily do a string version, right? List string my strings. It's new list of strings. I say my strings dot add oh, Bob uh, Susie. Hopefully you're getting the right idea here. Fred, and then I can just copy and paste this. Oh, you know what? We could actually make this generic. Using a method, maybe I'll do that in a future video. Uh, maybe the next video. And instead of here, I'm going to say my strings. Okay, go over my strings. Get, get, pop, run it. Ha, ah, data. Okay, so I know I'm going a little fast. Some of the feedback I get on these videos is I go a little slow. So I'm trying to speed it up. You can pause and rewind the video all you want. But basically, we have a structure now that can take any generic type. So that's nice.